it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below nice king of cups <coughs> there is someone here who you love a lot or someone who loves you a lot okay but this is someone who is finally balancing their emotions very very emotionally balanced mature uh someone who's very compassionate but someone who's a very supportive partner you know someone who's very empathetic towards your needs but there's someone who's coming in to definitely so, someone who loves you for sure i i'm not asking this person to, i'm not saying this person's coming in to express their feelings but there's definitely someone here who loves you a lot they may not show it to you they love you to the moon and back but you're just never gonna know because they've mastered their emotions right they're not like the queen of cups so she's more like she, she shows her emotions this is someone who doesn't you have a wish coming through aquarius and look who shows up in your reading that's you for the star here you have a wish coming through you could have healed from a situation okay That could have been like a breakup, shake up, something, right? But you kept on your faith, you kept on the hope, and you did wish upon reconciling, and that's what's coming in with the star here. The star is also reconciliation, and it's also a lot of hope and faith, okay? The universe has, test, has been testing your patience and testing how badly you want this, and it's coming in. You haven't given up. There's a cup. Yeah, so see, that's what I'm getting. That there is someone here who's a little emotionally immature when it comes to expressing themselves emotionally. So yeah, that looks like you with the King of Cups here, which I said, right? Like you do love someone, but right now, probably you're shut off. But you have them in your heart, in your feelings, and you have a lot of hope and faith that things will work out. And they're coming in. They're coming with an apology or a love offer, okay? But there is some emotional communication that you can expect. This is someone, okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Now, if you relate them, uh, I feel this is someone who's a little immature. Again and again, I keep stressing on that. Yeah. So you're dealing with someone who, you know, probably had a lot of fear of taking a risk, you know, probably thought this was a very risky relationship, you know, uh, someone very dull, very uninteresting, okay? But uh, this person is finally ready to follow their heart's desire. They're ready to feel the fear and do it, okay? This is the beginning of something new, okay? This person, there, there is a new phase of cycle, a new cycle that has begun for you. And this person is coming towards you with a rebirth or a renewal of some sort, okay? They're heading in for the unknown, and they're stepping in fearlessly because see with the page in the pool here right we can compare that you're the one who's very mature here but this person is a little uh dicey in and out someone who anyways had a hard time opening up emotionally but probably because they love you so much right they're going to come in don't expect something grand uh something very grand okay they're not just going to come in and express as much as you expect them to but yeah they're ready to take that risk and that they're taking that leap of faith towards you they're coming towards you they don't know where it's going to go but they want to take that risk with you they want to try this again they want to try this again let's do this one more time kind of thing you know tell me more five of swords <laughs> I feel you feel the need to guard yourself from this person, okay? Okay, well, let me push the cards off. I feel that you feel the need to protect yourself and guard yourself from this person because this person has a lot of serious communication issues with you or you just always have to feel like, you know, you have to stand up for yourself, okay? Because this person could be someone who plays a lot of mind games and that's something that you're not in for because your energy is more like, you know what? Like if it's not happening, it's not happening, it's fine. You have a lot of love, agreed. But when it comes to handling something so immature and something that you really don't want to deal with, for you, it's like you're just like on the guards, you know, your guards are up and you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm rather ready to walk away you know if the, the same negative patterns continue okay because you are open to wanting to have an open dialogue you want an open communication you want crystal clear communication okay you don't want no ego no mind games no mind factory all right but you feel the need to stay away from this person or even walk away because this person has just not been very either not very faithful or someone who's just been suppressing their emotions and someone who's not the best at expressing themselves Queen of Cups, all right. <coughs> now we have a third person here. Yeah. Yeah. 
she's someone who is very very intuitive okay so it could be that this person also loves you a lot so you know what i'm getting the king and queen right first of all we have like a pair here okay we do have a divine pair here which is awesome i feel that you're dealing with someone with the queen of cups here okay and the king of cups you're someone who does love you right but they just are not very expressive so i'm feeling with the king and page here right this could very well be this person okay who loves you a lot but someone who um <coughs> so yeah someone who loves you but again you're more like i love you and they're more like yeah i like you something like that okay so you're expecting too much from this person with the queen of cups here yeah, i'm feeling aquarius this is you this is your energy where you really wish for this person to come in right so yes there is a lot of love here if you're asking me but if you're asking me what on on what um on what scale will they be able to uh, open up their communication and emotionally express themselves that's going to be very little okay that's going to be very little because this person probably is just starting you know probably they've just realized that they love you too much okay you have your intuition on point okay you knew they were coming back but again this person is just having a hard time to you know they're taking baby steps towards you okay and probably they've done this a lot of times before okay probably they keep backing out they're in it and out of it in it and out of it and you're like i don't know what's going on but with the five of swords you are very very guarded you have, you you feel the need to protect yourself from this person okay like you have that defensive attitude towards them like you fuck around with me one more time and that's it but you both have a lot of love for each other it's just that the expression levels are very very different maybe you cut this person out completely okay and that's when they realize that they want this ace of wands this brand new passionate beginning with you they want you to erase whatever happened in the past and they want they're very enthusiastic about this new beginning with you okay and they they have that spark ignited within them and they want to take this forward they're very passionate about you i think you're passionate about them too but i feel there's more of that uh, emotional needs that need to be fulfilled uh from their side you know towards you was they're all about passion and you are probably more about the emotions <clears throat> you know this person is more like let's see where it goes you know and you're like no dead fish goes with a flow i want to know where this is going etc because you know the fool is someone who's not who's not uh, who's lacking commitment right they just want to come in and you know they like to live in the moment okay they're not very in for settling down or making long term plans and that's something that you're not very okay with see the ace of wands is see the world here you ended a chapter with this person okay for the world here and this person's coming in after you ended a cycle with them now there's like this huge transition in relationship and they're coming in to start a brand new chapter with you they want to take things forward for sure you could be living at a distance from this person but you do mean the world to this person this is taking things to the next level starting a new chapter in your connection like i said things could have ended between you guys you could have completely let go of this person you know still being in love with them but yeah they realize that they want you and they're coming back but they want a clean slate this time they want to start from ground zero with the fool and the ace of wands here <coughs> nine of cups say <coughs> we have two wish fulfillment cards here but this is more of like having that hope and faith that things will work out and this is more like nine of cups which is like emotional fulfillment this is like the ultimate wish fulfillment you know nine of cups it's just like you just have everything that you need but again nine of cups is emotional dependency okay where you are still dependent on that one person to make you happy dependency on any person comes with that subtle fear all right what if this person isn't there tomorrow so queries if this person is going to go away from your life tomorrow if you are being very dependent on this person if you you're never going to be happy so even when this person comes in you're still not going to be happy because you're always going to have that fear of what if this person goes away so that nine of cups shouldn't be there when this person comes in and that's what it's showing it's like that happiness like oh like yeah they're back right now i'm very happy this will make me happy or this person makes me happy now i am happy no that's not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be i am happy and then when that person comes in right it's like an add on you know it's like an add on to your happiness your happiness shouldn't depend on them so just be very caref very careful about that emotional codependency <clears throat> this person <coughs> with the magician here i do like the magician 
I do because this is someone who has everything that they need to succeed. All right, any ideas, any plans? Okay, this is someone who brings a lot of golden opportunities. All right, and they're almost at the brink of making things happen in their life. This is someone very powerful, very ambitious, very determined. Okay, but the thing is that they like to be in control. They're used to getting their own way. Okay, this, they also demand a lot of attention. So um, their presence usually may suggest that you are acting. Uh, I mean, they are acting in a manner where you know a little power has gone in their head. Okay, so with the magician here, it's that confidence where they know that they can come in, they can waltz in into your life, you know, and they just come in and out of your life, and they know they they can just make things happen. Okay, someone a little overconfident. Okay, like they do behave like a little bit like a know it all. Okay, to those around them or with you, they can come out to be a little arrogant or proud. Okay, but this is someone who knows like they have their wrapped around, they have you wrapped around their fingers. So be very careful about that. Very careful about that. That's a very strong person, for sure. But they have that habit of creating illusions, okay, which will always have you doubting of what you see. But they're very good with convincing because they have the gift of the gap. So be very careful about that. But again, otherwise, it's a great opportunity to make things work out. Okay, they're very hell bent on making things work out with you, and they know they will. By the way, they know they will. They know they got you. So be careful about that, Aquarius. Just don't get driven into any emotions. Try and have a more logical approach, which I don't think you're still doing. Okay, Five of Swords is, yes, it is being defensive. It's being on guard. But again, there are chances that this person can get maneuver you into the same thing, right? And get away with what they want. So be careful about that, okay? What is the outcome? For Aquarius this week. <coughs> what is the outcome for Aquarius this week, please? See the outcome. What is the outcome for Aquarius this week? In the what is the outcome for Aquarius this week? Okay. Hmm. There is a huge transition that your relationship is probably going through. Okay, I think you're going to end something. You're definitely going to end something with this person. But <laughs> let's see the other card. Oh, so, yeah, see the death is a transition, right? It is an ending, but it is also the card of a rebirth. And with the two of swords here, it says to me that there is someone who's going to be indecisive. So I feel that this person is going to come in very changed with a transition. Okay. But with the two of swords here, I feel you're the one who's going to be in two minds about whether you want to take them back or not. Okay. Because the two of swords is someone who doesn't have clarity. There's someone who lacks clarity. I think you're refusing to see the reality of the situation here. This is blocked. Right, you're completely blocking yourself. So that is a chapter, okay? So I feel you're probably closing off a chapter because we have the world here too, right? So this is a chapter in your life that is ending, and acceptance and release is the key here. Yeah. So this is the death of a situation which you have been seeking on a very deep level, okay? Like the end of an era with this person. So I think it is. A right time right now for you to end end this okay and let it go just trust that what is being taken from you is for the best and it will be replaced with something more better all right but with the two of swords i think you're in two minds about ending this situation okay maybe you don't want to let this relationship go maybe if you don't let it go you're still going to continue the negative patterns or encourage this person to you know continue those negative patterns okay so be very careful about that but I do see you ending a chapter and starting a new chapter with this person or without this pers person. I'm not sure yet, okay? Because with the two of swords, you're still stuck in your head. There's something that you're indecisive about and you refuse, refuse to see it clearly. Okay? So that's what I have for your queries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.